How we doing? Welcome How to the Massive Wagons podcast. How we doing? How we doing? There's a northern phrase, if ever I've heard one. How we doing? How we doing? Uh, yeah, welcome to the Massive Wagons podcast. He's just said that, of course. <clears> I'm, I'm Barry and... Uh, I'm Adam. He's Adam and we're, uh, well... Massive two, Wagons. Two small parts of Massive Wagons. Yep, the smallest. The two smallest parts. <laughs> Before we get into it, if you're watching this on YouTube... Give it a give it a like and a subscribe and all that all that YouTubey stuff, mm. please. It really helps spread the word. It does. And uh, I actually don't know what it does. I mean, I, we certainly don't see any financial kind of gain to, uh, to to any of this. We don't even have ads running because it, even though we could do, we want you to listen without interruptions. We don't want to give you any chance at all, any any opportunity to disagree to to, to disagree or. <laughs> Or more in, more importantly, lose interest and go to and, be, go and listen to Rick Beato or something. <laughs> Somebody actually knows what he's on about. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I hear they hear all that anyway. So I'm, I'm not interested in putting that crap on our things. Cause the I, ads. I, yeah, I'm not. I, I know how much it annoys me. So why would I want to? Yeah. You know, annoy the people. That I'm a are YouTube to watch this. I'm a YouTube premium uh, customer though, so I don't I don't see the ads anyway. Oh, no. <laughs> do, you, no. do you pay for that? Yeah, it's something like it's more like twelve pound a month. Oh, fair, like, fair to be honest, but but then I, I listen to a lot of long winded, pondery, yeah. geeky shit. So I mean, you yeah, know. yeah, I can't imagine having to pull up with adverts every three or four minutes. No, I mean fucking hellfire. Yeah, while someone's trying to explain to me the difference between. Uh, the presence and the treble potentiometer in a in a Fender Bassman circuit, and how it differs from the Marshall JTM. You don't need it, you know. Yeah. You so uh, so yeah, but uh, if, 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 we don't we don't have the we, we don't have a, years yeah old, exactly we don't have the we don't have the adverts anyway. But still, like and subscribe because like, we're YouTubers and that's something that well, yeah. YouTubers say. So officially, we are officially YouTubers. And thanks for, thanks if you're tuning in. You know, if you're yeah. here now, thank you very much. Yeah. You know, and if you're just listening on a podcast, then like I uh, on. It doesn't mean anything. On Spotify, you do. I don't know. Just, just listen to it twice. Do you get ads on them. Um, you know what? I think you do. I think, yeah. or, or I think there's a thing. I know it used to be because again, we're, 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 you know, we have a sort of premium Spotify account. So I think what it is is you you might get to listen to you pick a song and it might play another song first, ah. similar sort of song. Right. Okay. Right. I think it works like that. That kind of thing. I used to. I and you want to get so many. If you don't have premium, you want to get to listen to so many songs, and then you have to listen to probably some advert. Yeah. Some advert. Some also. podcast advert. Some probably some Ro- Romesh Ranganathan. Uh, He's everywhere, he? Is, um, he should be a podcast on his own. I, I, you know what? I don't. I don't mind a guy. I, no, I like, I like him. He's him, funny, but he he is he is all over. And you don't blame, can't blame him because he's making a lot of money. Yeah, and the, the guy. office come in. But uh, yeah, he's on everything. Isn't he? He's running the risk though of overexposing himself. Not in the. Uh, not in the not your in honor. The, not in the Sorry, yeah, your honor. Find kind of. yourself in the dark kind of uh, yeah. way. But, but yeah. But, but today we're going to be talking about everybody's favourite rock star. I know. I know he's a. I know you're. You're all big fans of him, and I, I love how he. Uh, he what he brings out in people just at this the sheer mention of his name. I ironically saw a picture yesterday of uh, Tom from Earig, our good friend Tom. Uh, he was in. Uh, he was yeah. at Glastonbury, and he had a photograph with him, and the comments and the Eric page from all the grind, massive, whatever that means. Yeah, Eric are our record label, by yeah, the way. Yeah, by the way, yeah, uh, by from the grind, from the basements of America, across America, the the disdain for the guys is unbelievable. Well, it's not really about the guy; it's what he said, and he made a, as he does, he runs his mouth off, doesn't he? Noel Gallagher, and he, and he. Oh, there it is. And he says he says some things. Switching off all over the land. He says things that. Uh, whether you whether you agree with them or not, they make great great talking points. Oh, yeah, I so, agree. You know. I mean, I, I I like I like Oasis. You like Oasis, and I, and I totally understand that people don't. And I I I understand the points, but we're not here to talk about Oasis and their music. No, what not you at think all. Of them. But he is, I think he is a funny guy. I don't I don't agree with most of the crap he comes out with because he says it for a reaction. But, but do I want, do find him funny though. Do you want boring people? No, exactly. though? he's not boring. You can, you can, you can, exactly. Whatever you think of him or his music, he ain't boring. He ain't, he ain't boring. He ain't boring. He's always going to say something interesting and something we could talk about. And at this point, he, he made a real good point. I'm yeah, going to I'm going to quote so. him here. But hang on a minute. I need to. Uh, I need. To, I'm going to quote him. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Mad funny. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so basically, he's Very talking good. about. He's talking about you. You, t- I think he's talking about uh, the Smiths at first, and about like because he's good mates with Johnny Marr. I'm not a fan of the Smiths. Do people want a Smiths reunion? And he's saying like, and he basically that's what's sparking that. That's the background to the right, uh, right. the preamble to this. Mm. Uh, and he's saying like, 
labels are obviously going to want that because they oh, yeah. they want to make money. Got to do. So he's saying like so uh, another edition of the Queen is dead. Yeah. So he's, he's ta- he says label labels know what people want because they can see what people want because they can see the numbers in the streams. Sorry, because they can see the numbers in the streams. Oh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do the Bernie Jackson. He from India? Yeah, he's a West Indian now. Because <laughs> uh, I can see the numbers in the streams and the likes and that kind of thing. So they give the people what they want, but people don't know what they want. They're effing idiots. They <laughs> didn't want Jimi Hendrix. They didn't want the Sex Pistols. They didn't want Oasis. Um, and they certainly wouldn't have wanted the Smiths. So it's taken away that magic, I think. It's destroyed innocence. Uh, mm. It spoils things. You go on tour, you play the first night, and everyone knows the set list by the second night. Everyone knows what to expect, and there's no sense of anticipation. I like going to gigs, not knowing what the band are playing. The dude beside me knows exactly what they're going to play and when they're going to play it, and I pity them. I really do. So, yeah, it's kind of... I'll take these off now. I'll take my eyebrows off. You're going to hurt. I don't think so. No, it's all right. Electrical tape's quite kind to the older... We're going to raffle them off. Yeah. Give it a catch. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'll hang on there so they can continue to feature in this, uh, this podcast. In this they podcast have, they've probably got something more interesting to say than we have. You, if you weren't listening again, because you might be listening to this, you have no idea what I just did. No. I, I put two just pieces. Of, noise. I put two pieces of electrical tape on my eyebrows to to um, mimic Noel's mono brow. Yeah. To, to, <laughs> oh, yeah, I should have put just one right across. <laughs> Why didn't I do that? Oh, I I missed, oh, missed opportunity. I should have just put <laughs> just one right one across. Piece. <laughs> one piece. Should have got that big black gaffer tape we use on the on the stage. <laughs> So, oh dear. When I when I when I read that comment at first, sort of in isolation, I, um, and you said you sent me it mm. and and said there's it a video of it, isn't there? there's video around on it, isn't it? and um, I thought he was just talking about like labels and stuff in general. I didn't really know it was sparked off by, you know, that discussing the idea of a Smiths reunion yeah, or yeah. anything like that. But what do you think? What do you think of that comment? Like uh, the consumer doesn't know what they want because that's kind of like the, the most interesting part of that. I think um, I think I think the consumer thinks he knows what he wants and does know what he'd like, but it's it's always the it's always it's always the stuff that comes out of nowhere that ends up being the best stuff. And who doesn't like being surprised? I mean, you know. Yeah, you, you you pick you pick you get you get sick and tired of the same thing, you know, like the algorithms and the numbers and the streaming figures. You're just going to get more of the same stuff, and you're just going to be stuck with the same things over and over again. Yeah. Oh, it's working. Let's carry on doing it, and it's just it is boring. And and, and you know what? Not liking something is as exciting as as falling in love with something, isn't it? You know what I mean? You need that. You need to split people. We need to be split. We need to have those discussions, and we can't be spoon fed. The yeah. same boring stuff over and over again because <coughs> we've said we liked it. Well, it's like saying I love ham sandwiches and then having ham sandwiches for the rest of your life. Do I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, I'd, 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 he's speaking you from on, a... And then somebody, somebody gives you an ham sandwich with a flipping jalapeno pepper in it and you go, you either go, fucking hell, that's amazing, <laughs> or that's awful. A good that's, old, that's the exciting part of life. Good old sandwich analogy. You can't, you nothing, can't beat a sandwich. <laughs> nothing can be... <laughs> you know, it's easy though. Nothing it, can be... Uh, can't be summarised with a sandwich <laughs> analogy. <laughs> I know, yeah. Uh, but you know, I think I think that's maybe a simplified version of what he's trying to say, really. Yeah, well, I I don't. I mean, it's a weird one. I think he's talking from a certain level. I mean, he's talking from someone who everything he releases is number one and has been for the last thirty years. Well, you there know? is that, yeah. And anything less than that would be not a success. Do you know what I mean? I think he must be talking at the very kind of top level of commercial music. Mm. That's where people might be kind of spoon fed, and the people that decide what sort of gets to get there and stay there maybe they're the ones with the, the numbers and things and yeah. they're making this decision right well this this band or this artist let's promote them make sure they get lots of radio time on certain radio stations all that kind of thing but i think this this the the music there's anything you want out there now, whatever you want to listen to. Which is a good side. Which, which, which is good. The good side of the internet, isn't it? Yeah, which is the good side. That's exa- exactly the point, yeah. But that require that does require more effort from the consumer to find those things. Mm. And it's also quite sad because somebody, and, and it kind of rings true with that statement, somebody said to me a while ago, the last, since the, since the internet became available in everybody's home and it became exploded and became this massive, massive thing, there haven't really been any massive cultural movements no. I mean whatever you think of Oasis is irrelevant but 
when I was 16 and that happened, that was my that was my cultural movement. That was like this music was everywhere and these two guys, these two ugly manks were everywhere, everybody. And then all of a sudden, everybody started having that haircut and everybody started wearing the stupid jackets and the Adidas trainers. Mm. That's all the lads, that's you just you don't get that anymore. Is that good? Is that bad? I don't know. You but know. but then then this is this the first thing that jumped out to me when he said that was exactly so people didn't want people yeah he said he said it people didn't want oasis at the time no i'm not really qualified to speak on that but he he he, he says that they must have been sort of like uh you know they weren't they didn't fit in with current trends at the time no. but then they became the trend yeah uh, but well, take, that, take, well, what was what was what was around at the time in the what in the mid nineties, early nineties, early nineties, grunge. Like, well, from from a from a guitar point of yeah, view, yeah, I suppose a grunge, yeah, Pearl grunge, Jam yeah, and, it's Pearl Jam and Soundgarden, and Alice in Chains, and 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 that in itself was was something that was a, a kind of reaction to the yeah. the the eighties kind of hairspray. It was the the kind of like right, we're enough of that. Yeah, I was sick of this. Let's, what, what, let, let, I want I want somebody to fuck. I want to sort this out and do our own thing. Yeah, yeah. let's do the opposite. Let's let's all wear bloody flannel shirts and uh, and you know and yeah, shorts yeah. and things and, and dress down rather than dressing up. Mm. And then it's almost like the Brit pop kind of was like, well, this is boring as shit. You know, these guys are just stood on stage looking at their gigantic pedal boards. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Let's 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 bring a bit of attitude and 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 a bit of that. You know, maybe like early glam kind of. Slade, the sweet kind of thing, you know. I don't care what anyone says. You can hear a lot of Slade in in bands like Oasis. And... Definitely. Well, it, it was like it was a bit like that music, but without the dress up, wasn't it? You know, yeah. it was the attitude of the rock music. <clears throat> and and like he's a massive um, Liam's a massive uh, you know Sex Pistols fan, so you know you could see the way yeah. he stands with his microphone and all that stuff. He, you could see all that. Um, but that, but that's that's my point though, is that this isn't a new thing really, because then that trend is set and. All of a sudden, there's a hundred Oasis, yeah, wannabe bands. Oh, there was, yeah, well, and like. before that, there was a hundred Nirvana wannabe bands, and before mm. that, there was a hundred Bon Jovi wannabe bands. You know, it it, it just mm. so I don't think what you're saying is is particular. I think it's always been true. You know, like the consumer doesn't know what they want; they get what they're kind of told to like. Yeah, that's always been the case. That's always been the case, you know. And some and some of it just strikes a chord more than others. So, some of yeah. it, some of it takes off more than others. You know? Well, but I still think you get them sparks of the I, the last one that I can kind of you know that happened in my sort of when I was a when I was a lad, you know, in in my era was again you might not like them, but the Arctic Monkeys. Oh yeah, when yeah. they hit, I agree, it, I agree. That that changed everything. That you know, like I I, I incidentally did like that. And um, that 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 you know that came out of nowhere. They they erupted over like yeah, over yeah. A, a couple of months, and then that was the the in thing. And then the, yeah, in yeah. their wake follows, Cat, yeah, 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 you know, Kasabian. Well, I, yeah. I don't know. I'm going to generalize here, but yeah, you know, was, no, what, bands like was, Kasabian and uh, yeah, the Pigeon Detectives, Pigeon and Detectives, Fratellis yeah. and all that stuff. Though. Maximo Park, and yeah. uh, whether they like it or not, they, they, it, it was it was a it was a, it was a follow on from. What appeared to be an Arctic Monkeys yeah. explosion, really. <laughs> but I think that was organic. I don't think... I think the Arctic Monkeys thing happened... I think it was like a MySpace thing. I was going to say, I think they were like one of the first... One of the first bands I was certainly... The first band I was certainly aware of that did it themselves... It was, they, were, they were like, we did it ourselves. Yeah. They, they, they were immediately... They weren't beholden to anybody. They had created this success, not overnight, but seemingly overnight, via the internet. Which was in absolutely incredible. Yeah, yeah. Which is the absolute opposite kind of thing to what to what your man Noel's saying because it didn't require any no no industry type selected them no. until it was already obvious that they were going to be a sure success. You yeah. know, so at that point, at that point, it's like that's 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 doing something. Let's take that and make more of that and give that to people. But no one, I don't think, engineered that, you know, because I don't think you can. I really don't think there's ever been an instance where, you know, it's sort of some music band artist or whatever has been put together. And I th un until recently, it certainly seems that, that that kind of happens now, that you get this ready-made artist that hasn't really put the legwork in, they haven't developed themselves. Well, there are. There are, and I'm not going to name any names because I don't. It's completely unfounded, only what I've heard. But there are, there are a few on the rock and metal scene, huge, massive bands that, seemingly to me, anyway. I mean, I'm not. Who am I to say I'm not on top of 
what, Man- what was like that? a manufactured kind a of manufactured thing. Yeah. metal band. Do you know what I mean? And they seemingly are, are absolutely ginormous and don't appear to me to have put much legwork in. Is that is that because they're amazing and they deserve it? Or is it because they have been pushed in all the right places and they've been given lots of money and the right people are involved? I don't really know. Um, it's, I guess not for me to say, is it? But I genuinely don't know who you're talking about. But You don't? No. <laughs> yeah, so no, I don't. But I don't like to. I don't like to talk. No, about, no, no. You're right. Yeah, I'm I'm not, I don't want to. I don't want to slag anyone. I'm not slagging anyone off. I am, I'm just. I'm not, I, I don't want to mention it because it's, it's. No, you're right. I'm not prompting you know. for. A, you can tell me when the camera's off. But I, I'm. I'm not. Uh, no, I, I think. Um, Pick you, up pen. I think you can. I'm going to write it down and show it you. I think you can help but form these opinions. Like you, you know, it's not like. Um, it's not like you can. You know, you you just um, happen to. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, yeah, I don't. You mean. the same thing. Well, it, it it is what it is, you know. Yeah, I can totally see what you mean, though. Yeah, you know. Yeah, but yeah, it's um, it's a strange, it's a strange one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's nothing. Maybe, maybe, maybe Noel Gallagher's age has played a part in that. I mean, I'm up. I'm obviously it's a running joke, but I am older than everyone else in this band. And the the Arctic Monkeys thing, I was aware of it totally, and I was into the into the music, but it never struck me as hard as it struck you. No. Because maybe you, because you, it, you it, between the ages seventeen and twenty five, you know mm. that that sort of age there. When I was at the Oasis, for me that. was the same thing. You are. So I was a bit younger than that. <laughs> for me, it was the same age: sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Yeah. And then I, I, I I'm completely unaware now of really. I don't, I don't really care to be honest because I'm done with all that. Stuff. Well, I, I, I mean, my focus, as yours is, and I'm sure Noel's is, Noel. I uh, mate, no. Oh, no. Is, it, Might get him on one week. The focus is definitely about the guitar music, you know, guitar yeah, music. I think that's what he's yeah. talking about because, yeah. you know, there's lots, there's, on the on Radio 1, all these artists come out, seemingly come out of nowhere and then, I, I don't know, I, I firmly believe they are, the, the, you know, what he's saying does happen. Yeah. But I don't think it really happens in, in guitar-based, you know, Rock. No, rock I, I, don't, I don't think so. There's a lot of history. The, 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 it's fundamentally um, a guitar band. Is I imagine is something very hard to put together and manufacture. And it's it, there, there's a lot more to it. There's there's a camaraderie in rock music, and there are guitar bands. And it's guys. They seem to. They always seem to be guys and girls that are you identify with. Do yeah. you know what I mean? That have picked up an instrument at home and have sat and learned the guitar. Mm. And then and then have gone out there. I just don't think I just don't think a lot of industry types, record labels, or whoever, are willing to take the massive gamble on bands no. anymore. The money is money's too tight to mention. To quote um, whoever sang that, was it simply red? Oh, was it? Uh, money too, oh, money's yeah. too tight to mention. Was that him? It was all uh, mixed, was that, wasn't it? Was that Hook? No. Uh, but it is. You know, they, they, they can't be they can't be spaffing money on millions of pounds on a band that might do something, might not do, might not do anything. So maybe manufacturing stuff is a safer way to get results. You know. And I understand that, like, you know. Yep. Yeah, it's... Um, I'm just trying to find any more juicy morsels in this comment. But, yeah, I, I don't know what the... I, I don't know if what he said is particularly, you know, new or... But he, uh, I think... he, he also says in that video about fashion being... Still being like, like that. He says fashion... Yeah. Um, they they tell you what you're having. Yeah. They, they have no way of... They don't wait. Yeah they, yeah, they have no way of gathering data on who's buying... Yeah. Flipping denim shorts or what? What flipping swimming costume you're buying? They change fashions and you get what you're given, and that appears in the shops. And all of a sudden, everybody's like, "Oh, look at this! Look at that!" And it's mm. exciting. Fashion's exciting, whether you're into it or not. But music has maybe become a little bit stale and diluted and con- <sighs> controlled. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's a it is a, it is a weird one. It's full of compromises and um. As an artist in 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 music, it, it's yeah. hard to it's hard to maintain your integrity completely everyone compromises well i say everyone but you know you do you do compromise you you and it's not as sometimes it is a, a kind of a very like quick change of direction in mm. another way which some bands it works for muse i guess you know they totally totally change this way and that way yeah, but yeah, yeah. I mean, they're already a stadium filling band, so they can kind of afford to to take that gamble, really. But when you when you're a band on the on the up and you're you're still developing and and establishing your career, and it isn't as secure as that, yeah, there's there's slow like many different levels of compromise at every stage in mm. the songwriting, uh, and then the producer's going to have his say, and if the producer's focused on 
getting you on the radio and things like that, mm. they're going to say, well, maybe this this needs to go like this, cut that bit down. And you're like, well, I like that bit because it is different. Yeah, it might be a bit off-putting to, you know, yeah, yeah. all this kind of stuff. And then the record label go, well, we need a short single edit. So you edit these bits out, which are always <sighs> know, the... Yeah. Which are always the bits that are kind of the atmosphere builders at the yeah, beginning. The yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. The stuff that um, the stuff that gives a, a bit of a bit of three D kind of depth to it. <laughs> I don't know what that was. I made a bit of an obscene gesture there. <laughs> but that's the that's the that's the nature of the game. And then by the time it comes out, you know, you've you've chipped away at the um, yeah the, the kind of the essence of the song, really, isn't it? <laughs> Well, no, yeah, I mean, that has definitely happened to us, I, I think. No, less so now. I think we're getting a lot better at standing standing our ground at, at every step oh, of the yeah. way and, and, and understanding that you can't you can't just churn out this generic kind of crap. Even even if we're playing, you know, we're just like, we're having this conversation right before we started this, you know, <coughs> radio kind of rock, you know, it, it is aimed at, you know, we're not we're not playing heavy duty, you know, no, no. jazz Prog influenced, no. you know, multiple time signature kind of things here. It's all four four sing along kind of stuff. But still, I think there's room within there to 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 oh yeah make you. I think that's what I think that's what makes. I think it's a tough call. I think it is what, what you, you can write songs and you think they sound great, but it is it's the it's the it's the little details. It's mm. the it's the attention to detail and the the changing the changing an odd note here and there and changing a riff slightly or yeah totally. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Keep so it, inter- it keep it interesting. I think there's a lot of it subconscious as well. People don't they can't put the finger on why why something a song is is good. Um, but I think a lot of it is down to it being interesting and different. But you just you don't notice it unless you sit and analyze it. Mm. Definitely. Yeah. But I, I also oh, sorry. I I also agree with him about the uh, the internet ruining shows and stuff. To be honest, I, I never got my head around that. Like the set list thing and. Yeah, it's a bit. It is a little bit sad, isn't it? You can't escape it. Oh, the set. This is the set. This is what they're playing, and it's like, really, I, 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 you don't want to go and watch. I always, feel, I always kind of feel like that, even when, when we're sort of playing, you know, like uh, less so now, but back in the earlier, back in the earlier days, or still in Europe because we're playing the sort of smaller venues over Europe. But you know, you have your set list pe- pegged to the front of the stage you know tape there yeah yeah and the barrier is like a, a, only, only a yard away and people could literally just see the set list you know and they take a photograph of and it. they take a photograph of it, and, and then it goes a, online and, and then it's starting fan group isn't it yeah, and, and it's and like it, oh well whatever I, I mean if you were I can't remember the last time I went, even went to watch a band really but um, I don't think I did I always try to avoid finding out the set list yeah I mean it, it's yeah it's the anticipation it's the excitement I mean I remember when we went to watch ACDC at Hamden Park. Or I could probably write you the set list. I know, but <laughs> I'd never really seen them before, and I no, was—I no, I was I like, yeah. I knew they were going to play the big numbers, but you, you don't know what they're going to play next. You no. know, and it, it was—it was exciting, you know. But yeah, there's a bad example. You're right. <laughs> yeah, 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 You could write the set list out again and again, couldn't you? No, I, I know what you mean though. Even if you—even if you know what songs. To know the order is even worse, isn't it? Yeah, you know, like so that's like you know exactly what's coming. You want to go, yeah, they're playing this, yeah. 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 I, can't, I can't believe it. They're playing back in black. <laughs> <laughs> they're yeah. whipping out all the deep cuts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But no, I, th- I think he, I think he makes he makes some he makes some good points. I think uh, it's kind of become a little bit stale and controlled. It certainly seems that way, anyway. If you don't think it has, honestly, let us know in the comments. You know, cause you, tell us what you think about it. About what I know, and, and please try to put aside the fact that you hate the airy breathes and you can't stand his stupid brother and his whiny voice and the yeah. shit song. And, and also, that. bear in mind, he's coming from the context of popular music. Yeah, you know, we know that you know Norwegian nose flute metal or whatever is out there. It's uh, and and if you want to listen to that, it's fine. Music has never been more diverse. I don't think that's his point. I think it's what what gets to the sort of. Yeah, the forefront of the the column inches and and the and the you know the Glastonbury main stage kind and, of. And when he says they didn't, people didn't want it. It doesn't mean they, they didn't didn't actually want it. They just didn't know they wanted it. And then it comes along and it's, yeah. What, what's this? I mean, you can't tell me that's not exciting. You can't tell me that's not when something <clears throat> strikes a chord with you. And it doesn't every time because I wish it don't strike a chord with, with a lot of people. But when it does, that is powerful, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. A powerful moment. The first time you guys heard Iron Maiden is a great example. The mass, the, fall, the hardcore Iron Maiden fans. You remember the first time you heard Iron Maiden and the feeling you had as a as a kid going like, "What's this? It's amazing! You're a lifer." Do you know what I mean? And to have that kind of controlled and 
diluted a bit. Yeah. It's a bit, a bit sh- shit in it, really. Yeah, it's uh, somewhat to think of. That being said, we're not getting an, not getting Bruce Dickinson. <laughs> Although we did see Bruce. We watched didn't we? him. We watched his set in and Poland, was, and he was great. Mystic Festival, and he was brilliant. Wasn't and uh, I genuinely enjoyed it. Yeah, it was. It was. I think he played for like an hour and a bit, so it wasn't a, it wasn't a full two hour set or anything. And I genuinely enjoyed. I, I thought it was great. He was brilliant, actually. wasn't he? Yeah, he's fantastic. He's a hell of a hell of a flipping. I've never seen, never seen Iron Maiden before. He gets about, doesn't he? He doesn't, he doesn't stop still, does he? I didn't realize how how Dio esque he was. You know, like is that uh, is that that like yeah, it's sort of very that, very dram- well, and, dramatic. Yeah, dramatic. I, I think it's just because the the Maiden thing, you know, with the you know the. F- old leather f- flight caps and his old swashbuckling swords yeah. and all this kind of stuff I, i'm just instantly kind of put off a little bit but uh it was it was just in a, it was just in a leather jacket didn't it and it had a big rip down the uh... <laughs> it did, yeah a bit of ventilation yeah yeah i don't know i thought it was uh, i thought it was cracking. It fantastic so, yeah, i ate my words a little bit actually i thought it was, well, I thought I, it was good I was, yeah. and then we watched yeah. biohazard biohazard you, you were yeah. the absolute polar opposite of bruce dickinson and anything he's got to say they, they were they were amazing as well yeah another another sort of like well, this is great. Some yeah, old huh? school hardcore. <laughs> oh yeah, the energy just ne- the energy levels never dropped below about four hundred, did they? They were just a full set was just like... fair play to them guys. Yeah, yeah really good. Yeah. Proper, proper brought the energy. They did. Yeah, he's down in the mosh pit anyway. His guitar ring around. Yeah, fucking brilliant. Billy. <laughs> yeah, you do know there, Billy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So yeah, well, I'll tell you what, we'll leave it at that. More of Noel's musings, but good points, I think. <laughs> Yeah, you made some yeah. interesting points. Yeah, let us know what you think. Anyway, yeah, 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 cool. And we'll uh, see you next week. See Catch next us on tour week. in November and October in, around Europe uh, and the UK. Mm. Get, go to the website massivewagons.com. It's all there. It's, it's all there. there. It's not a deep, it's not a big website. You know, it's yeah, not the it's uh, hard to find. It's not a. It's not. It's, it's not rocket ticket. Tickets are selling really well though. So if you bought a ticket already, thank you very much. Really appreciate yeah. that. It's really has. Really has flown out the gate, hasn't it? It's been amazing. And the thanks for the reactions to the first single as well. We're recording a new single uh, next week. A new video next week, sorry. And there'll be a new single out in a few weeks, I would think. So, yeah. yeah. Get your ears pinned More back. More new music. More new music. See you around. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> yeah.